wanted soul again. Alright, so today we... My Hero Academia collab is here. I could have talked about it sooner, but I want to sort of wait until the event really started. And also, if, the, if there's any sort of issues with the audio, I'm sorry. I can't easily really tell that so easily, so sorry about that. But anyway, so yes, we do have the My Hero Academia collab, or MHA, if you want to abbreviate it. And... We got a couple of units here. I'm just gonna briefly go through them because I want to get to the main part of this video. I want to get to the dungeon itself to show you what, what there is within it that you should be aware of. So we got Ocho Ochoco. Ochoco. Ochoco? I don't know how to pronounce it name, so sorry if I don't know how to pronounce it. I know this anime is pretty famous, but I've never watched it. So, let's see. This is what we got here. Leo skill is mainly on the defensive side. The last part of it is pretty good with a BB gauge reduction cost on us by 30%. Her skill release, Braid Burst, is rather very useful right here. There for one random ally, it purges the le <clears throat> it purges the leader skill disabling effect. So similar to Estia in a way. So that's nice to have for Oshako here. She even has evasion. And a huge BB gauge boost effect, which is pretty downright good. 14 BC and one use of the BB? Sounds nice to me. Now, Meteor Shower EX is a little different. And this is a high... This has a high hit count for a move like this. And has a, has a personal... And it has a personal 60% critical buff to it. Right. And a little bit of spark arcing action going on. As you can see, she does have a couple of spark arcing abilities, which I believe through her SP you can get. She's mainly a BBE gauge filler, and I think an OD gauge filler unit. It, like, o hugely boosts OD gauge fill rate by 50%. I don't know if that's going to court going to the current meta, I forget. But what units have the best OD gauge fill? Oh, wait. Home Run on Comet EX. It's sort of similar to SBD for the first part where it has its own 60% critical hit rate buff. buff. It adds a guaranteed evasion. Right there, that's pretty interesting, and already better than what Elena has for you right here. Omni Elena, that is, with her UV. Because it only gives you an 80% chance to dodge. This gives you a guaranteed chance to dodge. And purging the Leo skill disabling effect. Alright. Oh, and a guaranteed attack defense reduction. Zero gravity, this one's kind of interesting, but it leans on you having to get other units. You need Suyu Asuri, which is another unit that will come out eventually. So all female units can get 20% and parameter buff. Oh, now... Ooh, she does gain a parameter buff if All Might is in the squad, which All Might will not be available until a couple of weeks later. She also gives a 15% parameter boost for our allies. These, um, Earth Elemental Damage buff and Earth Shield. As for her SP options, they're not too bad, especially the 10 SP option to get a BCHC drop rate buff. That's pretty cheap. You can also get a BCHC drop rate buff uh, from her SP options. And I think this one right here, the, the adds great it adds greatly, restores HP, 4,000 4,500 HP effect to BBSBB. I'm thinking that is a, a burst heal. It's just 
how the HP is shown. I often think that's for regen, but I think I'm wrong there. Spark damage buff by 160%. She can also get another spark damage buff, but that's only for Earth units. But that would make Earth units able to have 260% spark damage, which right there is a nice buff to have. And the one that I really suggest going for is the light OD gauge boost 2% per ally. Because the issue with Earth units, there are not enough OD gauge fillers, so that's a must get for your Ochako if you decide to get her. There's also an as considerable OD gauge fill rate at the turn's end effect. Uh-oh. Hold on. My bad there, I thought someone was about to come in. I'm so sorry for the awkward cut. And for any more awkward cuts from here on out. Now then, Izuku or Deku as a lot of people people call him. Is a Thunder Army unit. He has a lot of attack for an er for a unit like him. His leader skill is relatively alright to me. It's more of an offensive leader skill than anything. Which isn't bad, but if it's not being used for, you know, content that's already been done by the veterans like us, you might see a limited use from him. Now, oh, Detroit Smash, Delaware Smash, EXs. Let's have a look. Let's basically put the BB only targets a single foe. Oh, but it has a good. But this and the SBB have a good effect. He is one of the very few units who has a 200% tri staff buff. Uh, which is something you don't commonly see on many of the units. Or actually, the only other unit that does have this is Sylvie, which she's a holiday exclusive unit. And you can only get it that 200% tri stop buff if you upgrade her BB from an SP enhancement, which I did. It'd take. Now, as for other things about this, he has a conversion buff, critical hit rate buff. And boosts his own attack back by 350%, making him a lot stronger. But here's where something that you might get deterred from about using Delaware Smash, and that's the last part of it, inflicts 25% of his max HP to himself. So, yeah, Deku here can hurt himself. There is an SP option, though, to reduce the damage he takes by 20%, but still a lot when he uses UBB. Yes, his UBB can also damage himself as well. So you have to take that option to reduce the damage he takes. But Delaware Smash is actually pretty powerful because it does an AoE effect and a single target effect. And still carries over a few things from um, his Brave Burst, except for the Spark damage enhancement? Yeah, his own spark damage enhancement. Now, Delaware Detroit Smash EX is really powerful here. Er, especially if you're facing off against Water Thunder units. Like, let's say, Tridon. On from Athens Fears Revenge. This is gonna deal a lot of damage for you. But be aware, like I said, that this UBB is kind of... Kind of risky, because... Deku takes 50% damage to himself if you don't get that SP option. He'll take 30 instead, but that's still rather painful. Okay. Now, one for all. Well, you only need All Might in the same squad to give him that 20% and parameter buff. He also oh, gives allies an, a defense ignoring effect and boosts spark damage by 100%. And, I think to only himself, when you have Deku's face mask equipped. Which is a neat spark sphere, to be honest. Just critical damage up. Gives all out. I think right here, um, let's see. It gives all allies a 40% chance to, to resist two KO attacks. 
and attack defense boost by 15% for 4 turns, turns which sacks, for all allies, which is a neat effect for him. Now his face mask is rather useful here. It gives a spark damage buff, which isn't as high as others you might see at first, but it does give a spark a thunder barrier if damage taken exceeds a certain amount. Spark damage will slightly boost BB gauge, has a max HP boost effect, which is not that effective. But the best thing I can see from this is the 100% spark damage reduction. Which, I think that's just complete mitigation from spark damage overall for a unit. So that feels a worthwhile pickup right there. His attack act parameter limit break right here, 200k. Yeah, that's definitely worth the get right there if he has, if you can stack up enough attack buffs on him. He's just gonna destroy everything. And here it is. Reduce SBB UBB's max HP damage to self by 20%. 15 SP won't cost you that much. You can also get evasion for him as well, for him and the others as well, and anybody else in the squad as well. You can also help improve your thunder units by getting in a enormous thunder elemental damage boost. And overall, um, yeah, he's mainly used for single thunder squad, for mono thunder squads. And there is a banner to summon them on, but I'm not really gonna pull for them. Simply because of that, for one, it's a double featured banner, meaning you don't know what uni unit you're gonna get from it. Right. And the raids do start low, and only up till your 8th summon do, do these raids become a little bit more fair. You have a 10% chance total of getting yourself either of these u units, but it's still a low odd. Low odds right there. And as you can see, other stuff, there's also bundles you can get. It's expensive giving you 20 summon tokens and such with brave ferocity. And time for training. This is the one thing I wanted to get to. There's Weightless Star, Path of the Hero. Both of these aren't too bad. But once you get to one more match... Match? Oh boy. I'm about to show you what this is about. And this is only an example. Amplify right here. Let's see. What unit shall I take? Um... I suppose I could take... Oh, jeez. No, that's more defensive than anything. I need to go offensive. And for good reason. Even, because this is actually kind of tough. So, I'll just take this unit. It doesn't matter as long as I get a decent leader skill on my side. Now, you may have noticed one thing. I have Sylvanar. Her, her. I did not summon from her banner, but I got her from the Matsu summon one night after uh, after one late night of doing guild raid. So now I have my own Sylvanar with the Voodoo Doll Sphere, which is a guild full reward only sphere at the time. Except now they released it for 14,000 Rift tokens. And here's if you're wondering about her SP. The options, this is why I took for her. Not too bad, even though there's plenty of other options, I get that, but... It's... I just don't think they're all that useful to me. You could get her a... Add all elements to attack for three turns to... BB, SBB, and UBB, which is very good. Good, all things considering, but... You got Xion, and there's other units who can do that same effect as well for you. The last option I'm taking is the Tomp buff, but that's when I once I get an Army Emperor. Okay. So Sylvanar is mainly here to help deal more damage, but to also apply some extra buffs. Uh, Zellion is my leader because I need as much offense as I can while also mitigating some damage as well. And again, these are his SP options. Which you're gonna think, 
Dude, are you nuts? Maybe. Yes, maybe. Maybe I am, but you may never know. Anyways, anyways, I don't need to explain the other units, but Say is also going to be, be another important unit. I'm just going to auto this and be on our way with this. Hmm. If only I could just cut, cut the rest of the battles out, but sadly, we, I don't, I'm not at my laptop to really edit, and it would just take a little too long just to wait for this video to be going over straight to Google, Google Photos. Okay, so let's bow to... I need to make sure that the OD gauge is full, because I'm not really going to try and demonstrate much of what's going to happen. And if you're wondering who's inflicting all those status ailments, that would be Say. Which, I think you would want Say in your party for this one. If you don't got status ailment negating and fears and such. Or actually, no. Um, scratch that. I strongly advise that you have extra skills that negate status ailments instead. Why do I say that? Well, Ochako OU's Zero Gravity, and yes, you're seeing the icon's light. She can nullify fear effects. This really cripples your party, and a gun zone does not have a full BB gauge. That's the only issue I'm missing. Now, I'm only gonna auto this this one turn. And I want to see if you can catch something before or I can say anything. I'm going to slow it down a little. Now my party's doing good damage, but it's not really enough to really take the game down. Yeah, Deku has an enraged thing, and oh, he does take damage, but it's rather uh, uh, weak. Five percent destroyed, destroyed smash. Oh, it didn't even happen. What? Okay, that's odd. Um, so Chaco has no buffs, but Deku gains a taunt for non AOE attack. Next, he gets a shield, a thunder elemental shield on himself, and all elemental damage reduction. Action with an evasion. Okay, that's kind of odd, because the one thing I've been noticing with this fight when I've been playing is that I've been noticing that I've been noticing that I've been noticing that I've been noticing And by the way, Sylvanar has a guaranteed double proc with her, or double double recast for BB, SBB, and UBB. Now, the only... Now, of what I was saying, I encountered something that kind of... of came out of nowhere, but I often saw Ochako oh, oh, use something, at least I can assume it was from her, because I'm often getting my turn skipped. And that's not a joke. I got uh, it's a couple, like one turn skipped. Yeah, because it went from turn one, and then when it was on turn two for me, my party did nothing, nothing, and then the enemy got the attack. I don't know exactly if this is either a bug or if Ochako has a stop buff. Oh, I can't check because it's applied to everybody, and I can't check. Check it once it's my turn. But still, that's something to keep a w to keep an eye out for when you're grinding through the time for training dungeon here for the MHA event. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope you all have a good, good rest of your, your day wherever you're at in the world. 
I got night left. Whatever. Until the next video. Ciao for now. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>